Hello, and welcome back to the Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we have a special episode. We have this 1969 Ford Mustang, but it's not just any Mustang. This is actually something that we researched, bought, and drove back to LA all the way from Seattle. So we drove this Mustang 1,400 miles. It's hard to believe that this car that we didn't know anything about, we actually just got in it and took off heading back to LA. Now, we noticed that when we picked it up that the car had a lot of water spots, sun damage, because this thing has severe paint damage from all kinds of UV rays, uh, the harsh elements of Seattle with acid rain and all that kind of good stuff. So we're gonna show you how to correctly polish it to bring back that paint. Now, a lot of people wanna know if their car is fixable with clear coat failure or clear coat flaking off. So we're gonna show you exactly where the line is, but you can be saved or if it's just completely gone. So on the hood here, you can see that it has this dulling effect or the paint looks cloudy. This is actually just the beginning stages of clear coat failure. Now we've done a test spot using V34 and an orange pad, and it's a perfect combination to get back the high shine because this car actually has really beautiful paint. But the thing is that there's still some etching in here. This is unfortunately permanent where it's eaten away the paint and over time it's gonna to start to deteriorate and start flaking off. But now that we've caught it just in time, it's not gonna get any worse. So we're gonna polish it all off, get back to that high shine, and then also we're gonna protect it using Jet Seal, which is gonna help prevent any kind of further paint damage while also magnifying the gloss that's in this paintwork. So over here, we have our Torque R rotary polisher. This cuts faster, it works a lot better than a dual action or an orbital is, because as you see, this thing has really bad paint, so we need something that's really gonna do the job. A precision instrument like the Torque is gonna to cut through that damaged paint to reveal fresh paint, which is that high glossy finish. And we're also using our compound of V34. The braces in there are gonna help knock down any of that scratches, swirls, oxidation to get back to fresh paint, which is giving back the high gloss shine. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake it up and then we're gonna apply five dime sized drops to our pad. And then to help lubricate the pad, we're also going to use some pad conditioner because as I mentioned before, the rotary cuts a lot faster than any other machine. So you wanna help reduce that friction by using pad conditioner. And that's going to moisten the pad so you don't have any friction which causes marring. And it's also gonna give it time for the chemical to break down to get the best results. So we'll start over here on the hood and we'll just dab it out. And then the slowest speed setting is what we're gonna do to spread it out over the area that we're working on, just a small two by two section. And the difference between a rotary and a dual action is with a dual action, you start it on the paint so you don't fling compound everywhere. But with a rotary, since you don't wanna create a, a micro scratch or a swirl right in the paint, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on the low speed setting and then place it on the vehicle, spread it out, take it off when you're turning it off. And then you can bump it up to your higher speed setting. For this car, we're probably gonna use about speed setting four, which is gonna give us this nice effect to get back down to that dark green paint. So we'll get started. Uh, we'll do some breaks in here and there to check our work and then we'll finish off the rest of this vehicle. So you saw that the compound went clear very quickly. 
That's because the machine spins very quickly, so it corrects paint very fast, which means you have to be careful what you're doing, obviously, so you don't harm the finish or burn the paint. Because with the rotary, it has no safety features, so if you hit an edge or a body line, it has the potential to burn it because the paint's very thin there. Also, you want to make sure that the pad is completely flat all the time, so you're not creating a hot spot. Because like I was saying earlier, that you want to lubricate the pad. It doesn't do a whole lot when the pad's on an angle, creating a lot of heat, which creates marring or holograms. But you can see how cool is that? Just by doing a light polish very quickly, it's brought back a high shine, it's removed all that oxidation, the water spots. There's still that etching in the paintwork, which I mentioned you can't really remove because it takes wet sanding, which you know takes a lot of paint off. But uh, overall, the car is going to look a lot better than it did when we first got it. We're going to finish off the other sections. As I was mentioning, this is a car that has severe paint damage, so a lot of you guys who have clear coat failure or really deep scratches and swirls, the rotary removes all that kind of imperfections very quickly and easily. Now you can see this high gloss shine compared to this dull, faded, all this milky, nasty mess over here. So I'm going to finish off the rest of this vehicle, then we need to move into the waxing and protecting steps. Wow, check that out guys. You can see that there's a huge difference between the polished side and the non-polished side. All this cloudy, milky overspray, it's got water spots, oxidation, scratches, really take away from the beautiful emerald black green that this car has. So I really wanna bring back that jade black of this Mustang for the owner, Phil. He's actually the cameraman behind the screen. He's the guy that gives you all this great content, one of our editors, and he's been hounding us to get his car looking his best. Me and him actually went on the road trip to pick up this Mustang. We also picked up a 70 Chevy Nova, it was a lot of fun, but there's a couple of hiccups here and there, but what do you expect when you buy a car that's, you know, almost 50 years old and not knowing anything about it? So you guys, head over to our website to get these products for yourself. You know you want to get your car looking its best. If you like this Mustang or the road trip, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage. This front bumper is stained from years of runoff from the hood and anything else that's been landing on here. But be using some light metal polish, it comes up nice and easily without having to scrub or get some kind of abrasive on there. And it takes it back to that high shine and it's also protecting it. <laughs> As a final step, I'm applying Jet Seal. And what that's gonna do is repel dirt, dust, water spots, UV rays for up to 12 months to protect the finish while also adding a high shine. So after waiting about 20 minutes, we're buffing off the Jet Seal. Now we can unveil that high shine and this pony is ready for the open road. We'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.